So we finished leveling out the sides with super glue and scraping and some light sanding. And you could see that there's a few blemishes here and there and you could see traces of where we didn't get the grooves completely out. It takes a lot of work. And then discoloration of the wood where we had to go down a little bit further. And also you see some of the shiny areas where the finished coat from before, a refinished coat, left things a little rough, even though we did through and sanded things. But uh, one of the solutions, then as I flip it over to the other side, one of the solutions is to add a coat of Minwax Poly Shade Polymer and Stain in one. Now this is a chestnut stain we're going to put on the side so it's got a little bit of a reddish finish and I did this to this other side here and you could see how it adds a satin color to it or satin finish to it but it evens out and it puts a little more stain into the wood makes it look a little bit better and then I would go over that with a, <coughs> excuse me with like a 2000 grit 2500 grit real fine sandpaper real lightly and then even after that I use a wet do a wet coat that just gives it a nice Almost a super finish to it now you could hear just from the sound of it That I put a second coat on the front part And hear how that's a little rougher there nice and smooth So when this stuff really dries after about 24 hours I'll go over that with that sandpaper and show you what it looks like overall. Then we're going to do this to the other side. So it'll make it look repaired, but it, it's not going to be too bad of a finish. Okay, it's the next morning after applying our first coat of uh, stain polyurethane. And you get to see the chestnut color kind of blending in and, and filled in and colored the lighter spots of this area here. And you can see the satin finish that it put on there. You could hear and I could feel that it's a little rough. And the next step we're going to do is just knock off that little bit of rut, roughness with some 1500 grit sandpaper. And the way I do it is I put some double sticky uh, tape on there, pull that off, and then I'll apply some 1500 to the top of that. And just go over everything real lightly so it feels fairly smooth and then we'll put the second coat of that and uh, it's going to end up darkening it a little bit more which is okay because it's that red color i'm after okay so you can sure feel how just how light i'm doing that a little dull it a little bit which is okay 